Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Following her tour of her hometown of New Orleans with Joey Grazia Day on The Bachelor, Kelsey Anderson relished a more laid-back excursion in Louisiana. On Wednesday, March 20, Kelsey, 28, went to a local New Orleans concert series called Wednesdays at the Square with several friends. She looked stylish as she came out in a cream sleeveless turtleneck sweater, brown leather loafers, and a pair of lime green pants. The TV personality accessorized with a black shoulder purse, multiple gold jewelry pieces, and a sweater thrown over her shoulders. After working as a project assistant for the day, Kelsey appeared to visit the outdoor venue, as evidenced by the photo of her sporting what appears to be a work ID on her belt loop. She went to a fundraiser on Thursday, March 21st, for Hanson New Orleans, a nonprofit that supports volunteer initiatives throughout the city. She posted a picture of herself on her Instagram story from the wine tasting event, clutching a glass of wine. Kelsey continued her love fest for New Orleans on Thursday, sharing a flyer for the city's forthcoming holy event on her Instagram story. She remarked, Indian culture is really so beautiful. Next to event details. This Saturday, you can either volunteer or simply go celebrate Indian culture in the quarter. On March 4, Kelsey's hometown date with The Bachelor gave fans a peek into her life in Louisiana. She introduced him to her brother Matthew, sister Taylor, and father Mark after riding her bike through the city and eating bayonets with Joey. In 2018, Denise, Kelsey's mother, passed away from breast cancer. Brittany Pascal, Kelsey's brother and Jordan, her sister, were not present on the hometown date. Of the four people left in Joey's final four, only Kelsey, who was raised on a U.S. military base in Germany before moving to New Orleans, did not admit throughout the show that she was falling for him. However, Joey won Kelsey's father over, so their date went off without a hitch. Mark said in a confessional, I feel very, very happy. And it was wonderful to see Kelsey and Joey and the connection they have. I know the other women are still around, but I believe Joey will look after Kelsey. When she gets home, I sincerely hope she's engaged. The following week, on their fantasy suite date in Mexico, Kelsey finally said the L word, and Joey acknowledged her sentiments. While it came to their love confessions, Joey exclusively told us weekly earlier this month, we both agree that when she was falling in Montreal, I was falling too. I wanted to be intentional with my words, so I never said it to her. But after speaking with Leslie Fima, the runner-up on The Golden Bachelor in Mexico, Kelsey began to doubt her relationship with Joey. By leaving The Bachelor with a note that said, we need to talk, she caught him off guard. During a footage that aired on Monday, Mac 18's women tell all episode, Kelsey discussed her emotions. Recalling how she and Joey had agreed to be honest about their thoughts at all times, she opened the discussion by saying, I just really wanted to verbalize that it's hard not seeing you and the days in between are always so hard. All these thoughts of wondering and missing you. I simply want to express to you how much I miss having you around. Joey was confused by the conversation, but in the end, he selected Daisy Kent and Kelsey as his final two competitors, sending Rachel Nance home. Leslie Fima first came to the attention of Bachelor Nation viewers in season one of The Golden Bachelor, where she was one of the last ladies competing for Jerry Turner's heart. After their breakup at the end of the season, Jerry married Theresa Nist at the Golden Wedding earlier this year. Leslie and Jerry no longer together. Leslie recently stopped by for an exclusive conversation with BachelorNation.com, during which she talked candidly about her current dating situation and her feelings for Jerry and Theresa several months later. 
Watch the video of our chat with Leslie below. The Bachelor Nation, we appreciate you talking with us. Leslie, we must know if you have any updated dating information for us. Leslie Fima, not much in the way of dating news lately. To be honest, I haven't been dating. Really, not many individuals have made advances toward me or attempted to set me up. It's okay, I had anticipated a little bit more abundance. I've had a lot on my plate. I've been spending more time with my children, traveling, working at a music venue, and teaching more. Dating has so taken a backseat. It's not really a priority for me right now because I'm not really looking for dates either. However, I really want to find someone. It was only my pickleball partner, but I noticed there were rumors that I was seeing someone new. I'm a girl's girl, but I also hang out with lots of guys. I cherish my friendships with men. No, none of the relationships I have matched them up with are romantic. Some of them are married. BN, that's understandable. Do you know what you want to look for when you do start dating again? LF, unquestionably. My experience on the show has taught me not to search for a partner that fulfills every requirement. More than anything, I want someone with whom I get along, who is active, who loves my family as much as I love theirs, and so on. Instead of desiring someone who shares my interests in everything, all I want is someone who shares my moral principles and beliefs. That is no longer as significant. I want to be old with someone, that's all. That best friend and companion is what I want. BN, I really like that. Even though you weren't able to find romantic love on the show, you seem to find love with Bachelor Nation and the other women. LF, definitely. I speak with the other female cast members nearly every day. We text each other all the time since we have a group chat. We'll also conduct conference calls. I communicate with Sandra, Kathy, Susan, and Joan the most. Getting to interact with Bachelor Nation fans has also been incredible. It feels strange to be receiving the same love that I have been giving to all of these individuals over the years, even though I have been a fan since day one. When people come out to me and say kind things, I'm truly amazed. I make an effort to answer everyone. They are talking to me, and I truly appreciate their taking the time to do so. I also keep in touch with a few other former students. I occasionally text and converse with Trista Sutter. I am here because of her. She's the reason I first watched the show, and I really do love her. Additionally, since Michelle Young and I share a city, we occasionally attend basketball games together. In June, we're organizing a great event together. BN, that's incredible. We adore those relationships. And how did you find the golden wedding? Now that a few months have passed. LF, it was excellent. I wasn't uncomfortable at the wedding, but I was more uncomfortable since everyone was observing me to see what I would do. All I wanted to do was watch Jerry and Theresa's day. Theresa is a good friend of mine. On the episode, we were really close in the house. I am just incredibly pleased for them and glad they are happy because I had my closure before that day. Ultimately, that was all I wanted, and I believe everything transpired as it should have. It can be difficult to see when you're in it, but I genuinely feel that way now. And I believe I'll locate that someone as well. BN, I adore that. Leslie, thank you very much. Let's talk shortly. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.